Now that our foxes are painted, we need to add a background. You will have at your table a container that has your water and your sponge, and we're gonna start by adding our horizon line where the sky and the land meet. You will have a tray of liquid watercolors. They are already wet for you. Careful as lids get removed, and you're gonna use your small brush and you're gonna start with the color blue. You just need a little touch, wipe it on the lip, so it doesn't drip and you're going to draw your horizon line. Stop as you get to your fox because you're not going to paint over top of it. Your line does not have to be straight because it is snowing and snow can fall at different levels. Since I already have blue on my brush, I am going to lightly right underneath of my fox, give a little layer, a shadow underneath of it. As I am ready for a new color, I'm gonna clean my brush in the water wipe it on the lip, and touch the sponge to remove any extra water. I'm going to start by drawing some vertical lines going up and down for my trees. They can be at various lengths. Careful not to drip on your fox. That's why you will always want to wipe it on the lip so it doesn't <laughs> drip. I am going to use a little bit of the brown to add some little lines of dead grass peeking through the snowy ground. Before I add the green to my tree, I am going to use the blue. I may want to grab a bigger brush to paint the blue sky. Make sure you do it in even strokes. Painting water down first can help the paint spread and bleed into all the water areas, but it can also cause the other colors you've put down to bleed as well. So be careful if you are trying that technique. Make sure the area is dry before you begin painting with the green. Otherwise, it will just bleed across your paper. You're gonna wanna use loose downward strokes that gets longer as you reach the bottom to create your pine trees. Always go from the brown wooden line in the center. If you want to give yours the illusion that some trees are different colors, you can use the yellow underneath before putting the green on top. This will make it look lighter. You'll use the same technique. However, before you use yellow, make sure you have clean water because once the yellow is ruined, 
it is ruined for good. So make sure you have clean water before touching yellow. The layering technique can also be done by using blue. You can have the blue underneath or layer it lightly on top. You could add a few extra details of adding a little bit of green grass poking through the snow as well. The last thing I'm going to do is go in and deepen some of those shadows beneath my fox.